Working at the Belize Zoo is a place where I'm educating my, myself also, learning a lot. We try to keep very close to animals. There are five different species of cats in Belize. We have the jaguar, the puma, the ocelot, the margay, and the jaguar -rundi. You are looking at one of the most secretive cats in all of tropical America, the jaguarundi. Here it is, the largest, the most magnificent cat in all of the Americas. Oh my goodness. The jaguar. Hey, come and visit Belize. You may not see one in the wild, but guess what? You sure will at the zoo. A black one and a spotted one. Our black jaguar, she was bred in captivity at a beautiful zoo in Texas and sent here as a gift for all of our visitors to see and enjoy. And here is the ocelot, another beautiful spotted cat that calls Belize home. The margay is our smallest spotted cat. It spends most of its life living in the trees. The puma. In Belize, we call them red tigers. These cats are found throughout the country and they are mostly nocturnal. For a special experience, hey, come and see the Belize Zoo at night. All the animals are very active and you'll see some critters that you wouldn't see in the day, like the tarantula. interesting and attractive animals at the Belize Zoo is our white-lipped peccary. It's an animal that's distantly related to the pigs, but they're very, very different. For starters, they have a scent gland at the end of their back, which produces an aroma that uh, people call pretty stinky, and it is. They have young who are very precocious, which means when as soon as they're born, they join the troop and off they go. And when I say troop, I mean troop. These guys live in numbers of two to 400 of these beasts. Can you imagine running into that many of these in the jungle? Belize is pretty special because they do have special creatures like this living in our nation. When kids come to the Belize Zoo, they learn about their animals, like here, measuring up to the Jabiru's stork. Belize is lucky. We still have Jabiru's nesting in the wild. And seeing the fabulous Jabiru storks at the Belize Zoo makes you feel so happy that they're nesting and thriving in our country. Wow. The really fun thing about this boa, she's so tame. This is Balboa, of course, and she likes to meet our zoo visitors very close up, like this. So she's kind of a pass around boa. A lot of people haven't had this experience before. It's just part of coming to the Belize Zoo and maybe doing something a little wild and different. What do you think? Great. Who wants a fish? Who wants a fish? Well, hello there. This is the Southern River Otter, an animal you're not likely to see if you come to Belize. They're not that common. They sure are cute. They need clean, swift running rivers in which to survive. And they eat fish, they eat crustaceans, and they are the cutest little guys. These particular animals were given to us as orphans, as little uh, litter mate pups, and we hand raise them. They love visitors at the zoo. You can come and you can get as close to them as I am now. They're great. This is one of the rarest animals in all of Belize. You'll never see the Grison in the wild, but you will at the Belize Zoo. 
This is the great curassow, a great bird, a bird that's in the chicken family and unfortunately becoming more and more rare here in Belize. Why? Because they've been overhunted. Part of the value of the Belize Zoo is to put our visitors, the people of Belize, in touch with their wildlife so they will want these fantastic birds to be here for future generations. Kinkajous. Hi, these are our kinkajous. A kinkajou is a nocturnal mammal that's related to the raccoon and they're arboreal. They spend their lives living in the treetops. You can see their prehensile tails, their big brown eyes. It shows that they're nocturnal. Also, kinkajous are a good example of why wild animals make bad pets. People will take these animals out of the wild when they're young, little babies, very cute, and then they grow up and get to be very aggressive. Our kinkajous were former pets who now have found a home at the Belize Zoo where they teach the public the right thing to do, keep wild animals in the wild. Well, as you can see, our kinkajous don't mind sharing their home with a bunch of fruit bats. They actually roost over there in the corner in the daytime, and then they'll come out in the afternoon and share the fruit that the kinkajous don't eat. See, the kinkajous like to eat fruit, but so do the bats. So they both call this enclosure here at the Belize Zoo their happy home. You know, conservation education is an important focus here at the Belize Zoo. And as part of that focus, I've written a series of children's books starring a spectacled owl named Hoodwink. Hoodwink is responsible for sharing a ton of important information with the children of Belize. You know what? The only thing more fun than writing these storybooks is spending time with the real thing. Spending time with the real Hoodwink has made him very comfortable with me, which means he'll be comfortable with our visitors, especially the kids. They've read about Hoodwink the Owl. Now they'll get to meet, get to know, and get to love this spectacular spectacled owl. When you bring the children here, they're able to see what they study. And kids are learning more about their um, what surrounds us. I think it's a really great zoo because all the animals are up close to the cage and everything. And it's nice. It's very beautiful. The Belizean people should be proud of it. It's original. It's good for people to see. But now I am happy that I know the zoo. It's nice to see the native animals and uh, I, just, I just thought it was a great tour. This was the highlight. We would c definitely come back. For me, certainly, uh, I've got, got to get an insight of the, the animals and the wildlife that uh, Belize has to offer. The beauty of Belize is just in its animals and it's in, in its flora and fauna. And I think it's good. It's an excellent venture that the Belizean Zoo is able to represent that. And thank you for joining me and my friends today for a tour of the Belize Zoo. We're known as the best little zoo in the world, and I'll bet you can see why. So come and visit. I promise you this, you will love it. Thank you.